Hey, welcome back. Welcome back to the hot corner. Appreciate you joining me again for another video. It's been a while since I've put a video out. I think it's been a, a couple months probably. Um, I'm gonna have some short stuff tonight to cover. If uh, this is your first time tuning into the hot corner, welcome. And if you're a regular visitor, uh, welcome back. Appreciate that. And uh, just want to ask you all to just subs subscribe and hit the notification bell and like the videos. And uh, that helps me grow my channel and get it exposed to more people. So thank you for that. So tonight, uh, this video is just going to focus on something that was covered in church today, but the Lord kind of expounded on it with me. And uh, I thought it was really cool, um, very helpful to... Uh, understand how he calls people to do certain things. And so uh, the message this morning at church was basically how God uh, qualifies the called. And he doesn't call the qualified, he qualifies the called. And I've heard that, and many of us have heard this before in church. And to me, it's like one of those things that can be a saying it gets a little bit cliche sometimes and it could be maybe that we just don't understand or put the necessary thought into what that really means and so it was kind of a little bit of a refresher for me for, for sure today so I want to want to cover this a little bit um, God qualifies those whom he calls all right so the example that was used in church was in Exodus chapter 4 with Moses, right? So he calls Moses to the people, and Moses has several excuses. Not a good speaker. Uh, you know, he gets nervous. He's not a well-educated man. And, you know, just a, just a few excuses there why he doesn't feel like he's the right person for the job, and maybe the Lord's made a mistake. But the Lord corrects him as only the Lord can do, and he provides uh, for Moses, um, and he qualifies him, right? He qualifies him. He says, you know, uh, I'm going to do certain things for you. These are concerns of yours. He said, I've already pretty much already thought about this, knew this was going to come up. So uh, <laughs> um, he takes care of it, right? And so that to me says, all right, He's called Moses to do something, and Moses doesn't feel like he's qualified to do it. But the Lord has other plans. He knows the plan. So he's going to qualify Moses, right? Um, so the, the thing that stuck out for me today was if the Lord qualifies the called, it means it's a process. So the call comes first, the qualification comes next, the preparation, whatnot. It couldn't be done any other way, because if the Lord only called the qualified, how many of us would never be qualified? You know, not only that, but if he only called the qualified, that means we would already have to have certain requirements met, certain skills and capabilities. Uh, everything would have to be in place for this to happen. And then... If you are already qualified to do something, somebody tapped you on the shoulder and said, hey, I want you to do this, you would look at your experience. You know, you would look at your own qualifications. You would do an internal assessment and you would say, yep, I'm qualified for that. But the kingdom is so different because if the Lord had done that, the Lord would treat us like that. None of us would get called. But if we did, we would think it was of our own strength, of our own capabilities and totally would just circum circumvent the whole qualification process, the preparation process. And basically you would have thoughts like, I can do, I can do this. Um, I have the capabilities to do this. I'm qualified to do this. And it would be all about I, 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 me, me, me. And um, it would be very flesh-based, uh, flesh-motivated. So, um all those statements reflect an independence and a belief in yourself, right? Uh, rather than a humility and a dependence on God to accomplish what he's called you to do. 
So God doesn't ask us to do more than we are capable of. I like that one too. Uh, <laughs> and here's why. It is, it is a true statement, even though when you first hear it, it doesn't necessarily sound true. Because we think we already have to possess those capabilities. Well, the truth is, we already do. Because everything was predestined, right? He predestined everything uh, before we were even formed in our mother's womb, right? So uh, capable just means he's already determined what you were called and capable of doing, of accomplishing, of, of accomplishing, excuse me. He determined that even before you were conceived. Uh, capable simply means he knows what he has added to us, and we are prepared to carry out the calling, but he has, he's the one who qualifies, which means prepares and equips us to do it. And so, uh, I love it. So Romans 8.30 says, and those he predestined, he also called. Those he called, he also justified. Those he justified, he also glorified. So, um, just a reminder, probably foundational teaching, but a lot of times we can get overwhelmed. Sometimes we get overwhelmed if the Lord calls us to do something. We say, well, maybe I'm just thinking this, my own thoughts, and um, I'm not really qualified to do that. That is such a big stretch for me. I don't you know, I don't think that's possible. And we just shut it down. The reality is he already knows the process that he needs to take you through to qualify you. And so he's up for it if he calls you to do that. And he's asking you for a yes in your heart, you know. So there's people out there right now that have been sitting on things for quite a while um, that he has called and you started in the qualification process, which means he was preparing and equipping you, and maybe it didn't look like you thought it should look like, or it didn't, didn't seem like it was turning out the way you anticipated it would, that doesn't negate the calling. There is still that calling on your life, and I would just encourage you uh, to submit to him again, that, that calling and, that pro and submit to that process of preparation and uh, equipping. So that's it. That's it. So thank you for tuning in again and I bless you all. And I hope you have a fantastic week and think about what you were called to do and the process that you are in right now to, for him to equip you. Um, he's preparing, he's preparing you and he's equipping you. All right. He's in order to qualify you for, for the things that he's called you to. All right. Love you all. Thanks again for tuning in. Have a great night and talk to you later.